is Justin Busby. I'm the larder chef here at Library Farm. Uh, today we're going to make some uh, pumpkin and pear butter for the fall season. We have some uh, paw, uh, pie pumpkins, but uh, any other pumpkins can be substituted. Uh, we have just a mixture of spices from cinnamon to star anise, allspice, and clove. Uh, we have two cups of pure cane sugar, six red Bartlett pears, and then one gallon of pear cider that's split up into two quarts and two quarts that we're going to use in two separate occasions. So first we're going to clean up these pumpkins and just going to kind of break off the stem as much as possible. And then just cut in half. Be careful when you're cutting in half. The knife can't slip away from you. And so we have our pumpkins now with our seeds all in here. Uh, what we're going to do is take some of our cinnamon sticks and our star anise and kind of drop them into our first pot of uh, our pear cider here. And then we're going to scoop out all the pulp and seeds from these pumpkins and put them in that pear cider mixture. So after we have all the seeds and the spices in the mixture, we're just going to go ahead and turn this on uh, high heat until it comes to a, a boil and we reduce it to a simmer and let it start reducing. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and put our uh, the rest of our pear cider into our other pan. We're going to add our two cups of cane sugar and turn that one on at high heat as well. And when, if it comes to a boil, then we're going to reduce it down to a simmer as well and start reducing that one. With the pears, we're going to go ahead and cut these. I like to leave the skins on. You can peel them if that's your pre preference, but I think the skins add wonderful pectin and, and flavor to the, uh, to the fin finished product. So I'm just going to cut them just on the outside of the core here. So next we're going to go ahead and peel these pumpkins. Unfortunately, the skin is about the only piece of the pumpkin we can't really use. Um, it still makes great compost though. So next thing we want to do is just go ahead and cut off the, the root end here. And the stem end. And just cut the pumpkin into, into pieces, manageable pieces. So next we're gonna, after we've let this reduce, uh, you can see our pears and our pumpkin are nice and soft and our liquid's getting nice and thick. What we're gonna do is just go ahead and strain all our spices and our seeds through and just kind of push that down in there. Just let it reduce a little bit more and then we're gonna puree it. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off and ladle it into a blender and puree it nice and smooth. So after it's all nice and pureed, we're gonna put it into a clean pot. What we're gonna do is puree it all, and then we're gonna place this pot in the oven at about 300 degrees and allow it to reduce just a little bit more. And so you wanna, you wanna make sure you fill a couple jars and put a few lids on, because you don't want it to uh, cool down too terribly much. And we are gonna we'll go ahead and water bath these just to be safe and make sure we get a really good tight seal. Um, and for these lids here, you, are, you can screw these on pretty tight. There's no point in over tightening or wrenching them. So once the water starts to simmer, you're gonna just take the warm jars and put them in to the water. You're gonna let it come up, back up to a boil and let it boil for roughly five to 10 minutes. So really all we're doing is just make sure we have a nice hot internal jar temperature. Oh, uh -huh.